Hi guys, and welcome back to Black Tea. It's your girl Ebony, and you guys already know that I am here with the white with the mess. Now there are several topics that I want to talk about in this video, and the first topic is none other than Chloe and Halle releasing their official music video for their song Ungodly Hour. Now when I tell you guys these girls did such a good job, I am so proud of them. Please make sure to go check out their channel, give them some love. They are so unproblematic, and I just want to say how proud I. I am of Chloe and Hallie because chow they did they thing with that video so let's get into the drama chow a lot of stuff actually happened last night when everybody was asleep and the first thing that happened was actually between Danny Lay the baby and Mimi the baby mother yes I know you guys are tired of this saga but I think there's some common ground and I also believe that Danny Lay finally understand that she was being played go ahead and check this out I'm not intimidated by no bitch <laughs> when it comes to what I was with for real. Like, it ain't no smoke. It ain't no nothing. Like, and honestly, that nothing new. Like, he was that in my city. You know, I know how many bitches I done got down, seen, come and go. Like, it's not, I hate to say it's normal or it's regular, but I mean, it is. Like, that's like, you know, like, that's, they got right. clothes, everything. Like, I'm not ever worried about no plus i'm secure within myself i ain't never needed validation from no so I, I know what i bring to the table i know what's up with me right so no it ain't never no i don't know it like to have no problem with it like i don't really give a fuck. As you guys saw in the clip, it was a video of Mimi and her friends online. Now, Mimi was basically saying that she's been around with the baby long enough to see many women come in and out of his life, and she feels that he is for her. With that being said, I just think it's very sad that she almost seemed nonchalant about the situation. If she knows all these women are coming in and out, does she really believe that she deserves that? I don't know. Now, what made this situation a lot more drama-filled is the fact that Dan Danny Lay did take to Twitter to voice her opinion about the live stream that Mimi did. This is what Danny Lay had to say. LOL, sad, but okay. Now here's my thing, first thing. Danny Lay, you have no room to say anybody is sad when you allow the baby to not only come into your life, to go back to his baby mother, embarrass you on live, then get back with you only to stay with you two days before Valentine's Day to dump you again. You have no room to be calling somebody sad and to be quite honest both of these women in this instance they're both being played now Danny Lay continued to voice her heart on Twitter and child it just really made me feel bad for her Danny Lay follows with this can't wait to be disconnected to that situation in due time we all human we all make mistakes when we are love and dumb but it's all about growing for real so I'll take my lessons and keep going even with all the hate I receive it's in due time now I do agree with this statement and I do feel really bad that Danny Lay does get a lot of hate for her relationship with the baby but at the end of the day Danny Lay made a conscious decision to date a man that she knew didn't want her and unfortunately babe that is your fault now several people did jump into the comments to voice their opinions about both Mimi and Danny Lay and let's just say there's mixed emotions one person said this even though I didn't like what you said you live and you learn when you own up to your mistakes is when the healing begin that's what I'm learning in life now you got this Danny God gonna watch Wash this away. The toughest roads are for his strongest soldiers. Don't ever let that ish get to you. You got a beautiful soul, Danny. And finally, when you're in love, nothing is really dumb. Now the comments continued with this. Girl, don't let a man tell you multiple times he don't want you. They beefing over a man who don't want neither of them. And to be quite honest, that is kind of true. I really hope that both Mimi and Danny Lay are able to see their true worth. Both are beautiful girls. Both have bright futures. And it is unfortunate that they allowed this man to come in and play both sides so I guess we'll be waiting to see what happens next now the next topic I want to talk about is none other than Megan Thee Stallion being called out by a graphic designer for her and coach allegedly stealing a logo talk about a mess now as you guys know Megan Thee Stallion did take to Instagram to introduce her new collaboration with coach and you do see her as shown on the screen with this two-piece outfit and there is a C logo well there is 
an artist by the name of Kelly Plug, who not only called out Megan Thee Stallion, but also called out Coach for blatantly using his logo, allegedly. This is what he had to say. Yo, at the Stallion, baby girl, you foul for this. You still owe me 20 bands for running off with my show money in 2019. But I wasn't tripping. At Coach, you guys are foul too. I swear, y'all go in on these people for me. My time worth way too much. If I wasn't rich as heck with 10,000 pounds at my distro, I wouldn't be tripping. But I am tripping. So it's F y'all. I'm gonna smoke and chill out. Tag these bumps. Now the first thing I want to say is if you're not broke, why are you talking about money? But I digress. Now several people did jump into the comments to voice their opinions about Coach and Megan Thee Stallion allegedly taking inspiration from his logo. One person said this, bad ish is always happening to you. Whatever you put in this world comes back to you. So maybe start thinking about the things you do because there's no way all this ish just happens to you for no reason. You let a girl rob you. Yikes. And finally, it's cursive. Anyone can draw a cursive C. Bruh, how could you not trademark your own logo? And you know what, you guys? I agree. It looks very generic. I actually went on Google and found many different generic cursive Cs on a lot of different people. Unfortunately, I don't think that this was stolen. And I do believe if he feels that way, he needed to have a trademark or copyright so that he would have a little bit more leg to stand on. But to be quite honest, I don't see the similarities that much. And I don't believe that Megan actually stole this. Now, the next topic I want to talk about is none other than Erica Banks receiving Ivy Park from Beyonce. Now, Megan, I didn't see you post any Ivy Park. Is everything okay, babe? I didn't see any Ivy Park. Maybe you're too busy. I get it. But I'm just wondering if you got some of that Ivy Park chill because Erica Banks did. And this is what Erica Banks had to say on set with fire emojis. Talk about cute. Now, look, Erica Banks is on her way. She is definitely on her way. She now has Ivy Park. She signed to Warner Bros. So I'm actually very excited to see where Erica Banks goes next. But again, Megan, I'm just wondering if you got Ivy Park too. Would love to see some of the outfits you got. But I thought this was a very cute gesture from Beyonce. Now with that being said, I want to hear from you guys down below. How do you feel about the topics that we discussed? Do you think that Danny Lay should stop speaking about this situation? And how do you feel after hearing Mimi say that she has had a lot of women come and go in and out of the baby's life? Would you stay if you were in her position? Next, how do you feel about this designer calling out Megan Thee Stallion and alleging that Megan stole a logo? And finally, what are your thoughts about the Chloe and Halle Ungodly Hour video? Did you like it? Or if not, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, ping that bell notification so you never miss when I upload, and give this video a huge thumbs up so I can be exposed to more great subscribers like you. I love you guys. To the moon and back, and we'll chop it up down below. Bye, babes.